Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Smoke and Mirrors. This this episode is brought to you by uh, fire. It it it's the thing that lets us light stuff on fire. Uh, also brought to you by the NFL Washington football team. Is that really what the fuck they called it? All right. Uh, the Washington football team. Uh, and now here's a song. Come home to Jamaica. What's old is what's new. Come home to Jamaica. We waiting for you. And now, here they are, your invenerable hosts, Carlos Kareem. Why the fuck not? Why not? Why not? Hi. Uh, oh, look, it's actually 420. Let's do it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And we are officially here. Hi. So, first things first, let's just, uh, let's address it. You can see my friend now. I tried everything I can. I, d- I really did. I looked at all of the uh, broadcasters of note who are trapped in their homes doing a thing to see what people are doing. And, and, and folks have lav mics. Or they they have an actual boom up overhead, uh, or they 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 took a boom and they put it down low, uh, just just out of shot so you can't see it. And I tried to do that. Here's the thing: this particular microphone is one that sounds super special and super good if you're leaning into it, and uh, and or if it's within an inch of the mouth hole. So we are not, me and my friend, me and my new black friend are not, uh, we are not socially distancing well. And in fact, it is very hard for me not to be tempted to just, Uh because it's just right there. It's just right there. That's all. But, um, anyway, so this is going to be here. And we're we're gonna we're gonna do what we can to ignore it or incorporate it to the best of our abilities. Uh, Monday, I'm gonna be sat here in conversation with uh, Crystal Echo Hawk, Crystal Echo Hawk, uh, who is the CEO and founder of Illuminatives, a, uh, a foundation that does philanthropy work on behalf of Native communities. Uh, we are going to be discussing change the name. Uh, and, and in fact, the name of the Washington football team, they've had a while. It seems like it could have been more creative than that. Uh, then on Tuesday, the 28th, we'll be back here at normal time again. Uh, I will be here with Kariga Bailey. Uh, Kariga Bailey is a social and emotional healing practitioner, also an educator and celebrated recording artist. Uh, we will be talking about healing and uh, mourning and loss in the time of COVID. Uh, you know, unfortunately, even even the president has admitted that I think we're all going to be in store for a lot more of that in the not too distant future, the mourning and the loss. And so figuring out how we starting to talk about how we're going to commence with the healing ahead of schedule is one of the things I thought we could do instead of doing it after the fact sort of the way that we're we're now being told to wear masks outside uh even though you should have been doing it the whole time. Do you have a hot bevy? Mm. Oh, I do. Today we're going with um green tea, green kombucha tea. It is quite delicious, a yogi tea. Uh I had to st- I didn't have to stop drinking the coffee. I'm a coffee addict. I could drink it all day long. I never have to stop drinking coffee. But uh, I can't uh, right now. I would Today, a thing happened. I had a very, 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 very full day yesterday. We spent time. And under the philosopher's tree is where I want to be. I'm going to be here with you. Uh, as we spent time, I will also let you know that uh, that was part of part of the 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours that me and my friend were sat here uh, talking and through through the t doing the Tron, right? So meaning that my soul was zipping all over the place yesterday. I was in uh, Ontario last night. I was with you in your living room just before that. And just prior to that, I was at some other meeting that I can't recall the name of now. But uh, all of it led up to eight hours. And I will tell you, eight hours of staring at a little green light and talking into um, a Muppet's genitalia is too much. Uh, because it's foam. Because it's made of foam. That's why I said it. Gross. Um, so... The president. Okay, hold on. The president has been going around bragging about, once again, what he's got upstairs, right? All that intelligence that the orange marauder keeps up in the in the in the in the dome bag and has been uh very irritated that that he tried to give another interview to uh, this uh, to Fox again to a conservative conservative uh outlet in which theoretically what he was doing was to uh uh, uh show his intelligence by talking about his, the cognitive test he took And when he got called out on how not hard a cognitive test is and what a cognitive test is, which is very different than an IQ test. It is not a test of your intelligence. It is a test to see whether or not you have brain damage, including uh, Alzheimer's. Uh, and and so it is not it is not for for uh, judging one's intelligence. Um, speaking of Alzheimer's, before I forget, because I will forget, speaking of intelligence uh, and Alzheimer's, this this scarf, it, which is lovely, uh, comes from the folks at Fierce Stitch. And uh, in particular, uh, is uh, this color is uh, dedicated to, uh, is the color of the Alzheimer's Association. Uh, the maker of, 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 the, uh, of the product, Shauna, is a black woman you can find her on etsy and uh i suggest you do this is maybe my favorite infinity scarf i've ever owned uh the, uh, this is no in no way an advertisement nor was it it uh agreed to be one but i will tell you that i do i i fancy it quite a bit uh the other thing i will tell you is that i suggest that you get one now because fall is coming and uh if you are not a fashionista uh Summer, midsummer is when you shop for fall. If you wait to shop for fall until fall, you are going to pay at least 10 to 15% more for everything. So don't do that. Uh, not on anyone's Etsy site, but in stores as a general practice. That's how white people do you. But anyway, uh, Shauna's not a white people and she makes pretty things like this. So uh, get, her to, get her to make one for you. They're cute. Anyway, I was talking about the cognition uh, thing. Now, here's the cognition thing about it. I know this test. I, I, I have some familiarity with this test, not because I've taken it. I have never taken a ding to the dome uh, hard enough to No, once I did. Once I did. One time I thought I was tough and I got into into a into a fight, uh, into a fisticuffs with my cousin, Steve. Uh, I'm not tough and that did not go well for me. And it did not go well for he. So uh, we were on the same side. He didn't help. Didn't help for uh, two two little soft boys to be in that fight. We he, we're soft in different ways. Uh, we are both emotionally sensitive and have very pretty eyes, though. Um, so I've never had that kind of drain damage that it ever occurred to me that I would want to take a cognitive test now. In the second interview he did after Chris Wallace pointed out, I, well, sir, I took the test right before we came here and it's soups easy. So maybe you, I'm going to, let me pitch you a softball. Stop saying that. 
And what do you know what he did is instead he went uh, back on the air again with a different doctor. And with a different doctor, he took the uh, talked about the test again. And that's when he said that it was very, very easy at the beginning, but then it got very hard at the end. And at the end, they would give you words to confuse you and you couldn't possibly remember them. And it was amazing. And then the words he used and I am looking at nothing right now were woman, man, person, TV, camera, camera, TV, other way. OK, so I've seen this clip exactly once. But I remember that he said he got extra points for remembering that during his cognition test. The other reason I do know about a cognition test is because my mother, before she died, when she was dehydrated because uh, coffee is most of what we drink. Uh, again, this is this is tea. I'm doing myself favors. And there's no marijuana oil in it, so I will be uh, uh, somewhat cognizant at the end of this myself. Um, she had to take these. I watched her take them, and they did not. They did not uh, seem to me to be particularly difficult. Now they were checking because she was dehydrated, and because uh, they they wanted to see whether or not the cancer had gotten to her brain. Uh, it had not, but uh, not a hard test. That said, I thought we could take a bit of it today together and let's see how we do. Uh, I pulled it up on my phone. You, ca you can't see it because of the way that TVs and the phones and the computers and all of the screens work. But if you are interested, I've pulled up the Montreal Cognitive assist Assessment, that is MOCA, M-O-C-A, Montreal uh, uh, Cognitive Assessment. And uh, it's got several parts here. First, we've got a uh, visual spatial uh, uh, executive. So what it wants us to do, one to A, A to two. So that means I want to go what? Three to B, B to four, uh, C to D, D to E, Nope, C to D. Nope, C to F. Ah, C to E. <laughs> oh, no. I think I've had a stroke. Okay, one to A. A to two. B to... No, oh, I see. Okay, two to B. B to three. Three to C. C to four. Four to D. D to five, five to E. Okay, that's uh, cute. So there's bubbles and you move them around and then make a cube. Okay, it says copy a cube. Let's copy a cube real quick. Picture pages, picture pages, time to make your picture pages, time to take your crayons and your pencils. Picture pages, picture pages, now we do our picture pages. Now I'm gonna make a little picture page with you. All right, I drew a cube. Mine is abstract, I did it on purpose. Uh, how's that? There's my cube. I could do it tighter. I could do it tighter, but there's my cube. Okay, there's number two. Uh, draw, what? Draw a clock at 10 past 11. Okay, this is going to be a tight one. You have to do this one serious. I know the secret on this. Because what they're looking for is whether or not you draw the hands off of the face. So the way that I just drew this cube separated out and all uh, in a Basquiat manner, that won't do. We have to draw a real clock with real time. So let's make a circle. Do, 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 do. And they want it to be 10 minutes past 11. Okay, so do, 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 do. let's see, it's gonna be 11. So shorthand on the 11. And then this is gonna be about the 10. Ah, long hand there. And then we'll do this one too. Do, 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 all right, I did both ways. I did both ways. Aren't you proud of me? Aren't you proud of me? 10 past 11, 10 past 11. Both both count. Both. I think I get extra credit for that one, Mr. Trump. Uh, let's see, there's three aminals there. What do they want us to do? Name them. That's a lion, a rhinoceros, and a camel. Wow, this is stunning. This is truly stunning. Okay, we're uh, good thing is we're two thirds of the way done. Uh, 
This is not a difficult memory. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. Let's make it harder. Okay, let's pack a new bowl. This is the one where he read his words. Now, clearly by the third time, Trump, ugh, I said his name, tried to say the, the, the things he said, right? Let's review them again. He said, woman, man, person, camera, TV. So first of all, clearly he was just looking at things that were around him at the moment. Oh, look, there's a woman. Oh, there's a man. Oh, uh, there are persons. Uh, the camera's looking at us and you're going to see it on your TV. Wow. Uh, also, I can't really give him, I can, I can give him partial credit. Because honestly, the first three uh, are the same answer. A uh, woman and a man are all people. So are the people who do not identify as woman or man, but just people. So really, uh, Trump only said uh, in his own in his own 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 little uh, diagnosis that he was sharing with us, uh, person, camera, TV. And uh, if you flip that, he said person, TV, camera. And if you rearrange that, he said uh, TV camera person. All right. So anyway, there's something on this list. Let's look at what they say. Okay. We're going to remember this together. Get ready. I'm really going to remember it too. Okay. Get ready. Now, what, what am I supposed to do? We're going to do two, two, two recalls and try to recall after five minutes. Uh, I'm going to try to be gone relatively soon today. So let's see how it goes. What we want to remember are these words. Face. Velvet. Church. Daisy. Red. Okay, one more time. Here's the challenge, kid. It's, uh... Kids. See, I was going to act like I didn't just say kid instead of kids, but then it got stuck on my tongue. The S got stuck. And then also this microphone. I can't really pretend I didn't say the thing. I know you can hear me. So I'm going to say that again. Here we go, kids. And we're going to check back in five to say velvet, face, church, dairy, red. Okay, we'll be back in five for that. Uh, he had some more things. Attention, language, abstraction, delayed recall. Oh, that's when we ask the questions again. And orientation. Okay. He says it gets harder at the end. All right. Let's see. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Huh. Okay. So. Jesus Christ. The question he said is hard. Is there more similarity between a train and a bicycle or between a watch and a ruler? Are, is there more similarity and more, more shared traits between a, a, a bicycle and a train or a watch and a ruler? I'm going to say bicycle and train. How many points was that? I got points. That's only worth two points. Uh, that is the second to last question. So that was the. Wow. Okay. That was the second hardest question. So we'll go back in five. Let's make it even harder for ourselves. And we won't, we'll, we'll turn, let's turn it off. Okay. Flat screen, dark screen. No, go away, Siri. Go, go. How do I do it? Dark, off, put it over there. We're going to remember those words later. Now, remember the words we're trying to remember are uh, face, church, velvet, uh, daisy, face, church, velvet, daisy, red. 
And let's not confuse that with a woman, man, person, TV camera. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see if we can hold that. If we can hold that for five. For five whole minutes. Did you see the show uh, yesterday? We had a great time. I was here with Kat Hollis. Uh, hopefully some of you who are not immunosuppressed will be able to join them out uh, at Star Theater in Portland, Oregon. If you are not in Portland, Oregon, uh, this will not apply to you unless you're traveling to Portland, Oregon to join the protests because Portland is the new Ferguson. Not really. This is not we they just this is just where the I guess in that the National Guard and the police showed up that way. This is not where it got set off. Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota's the new Ferguson, if that's gonna be a thing. I think Ferguson is the new Ferguson. I think is what it is, because uh you know, Flint still doesn't have clean water. That's a fact. Hey, coming up after August 1st, I'm going to be here with uh, with uh, Perla Alvarez, and uh, we are going to be talking about the census. We are going to be talking about the census because your, your president-in-chief uh, did a thing, signed an executive order out of his ass, uh, something to do with trying to intimidate uh, 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 or, 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 or evacuate all of the census forms. They were filled out by migrants, but how would you know that? That's not a question on the census because the Supreme Court said you couldn't ask that. So he signed a decree like crazy King George for a thing that he can't do or do anything about. And he did that. So that that happened this week. <laughs> oh, also this week he tried to uh scare white ladies again. He said and he but he didn't say white ladies. He said uh housewives. He called white ladies housewives. And he uh he reversed an Obama initiative to incentivize banks to loan uh to provide housing loans to uh black and brown folks in the suburbs. And uh he said uh, he sent out a thing to it that said suburban housewives there coming to wreck your suburbs and watch this. And they made like a scary video. Uh, there were two, a, another one, too, that Joe Biden is going to defund the police. And that uh, that means when you call 911, there won't even be anybody there at all. Not even to answer the call. The 911 operator is going to be on a machine. And it looks like a commercial from the 1980s. Uh, so, but housewives are, are, are a thing. So somebody, somebody dig up Mary Tyler Moore and let her know she is reactivated. We're, we're bringing out the zombie past to make America great again. Somebody get June Cleaver on the horn. How many minutes has it been? Is this five minutes yet? I want to say it again. Can I say it? I shouldn't say it yet. I'm going to say it. I'm not going to say it yet. Don't say it because that's not five minutes. That's not fair. That wouldn't be fair. This is not, uh, this is, oh, I can say this is not velvet, nor is it red. It is sort of the same color as a daisy. Woman, man, person, camera, TV. What? They're really going to call that team the Washington Washington football team. Honestly, the other day when I was calling them the Washington racial slurs, that's a better name. At least it's it rolls off the tongue better. It's got like a... You still get the R from, from the racial slur that they used to use. And so you could like make the insignia like a, a big circle with an R in it, like the restricted sign, but make it a capital R so that you're not. Face, church, velvet, red, daisy.
I think he might be brain damaged. And I, I, I think it, Face Church Velvet Daisy Red. 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 Are you serious right now? This is what we're, what are we doing? Oh my God. We could write a whole story about it, I bet. I was going to church and I had to walk through the daisies. I was wearing red velvet that day. You should have seen the faces of the other parishioners as I walked down the aisle toward my seat. But anyway, the protests are still happening here and in Portland. The jag boots are out. We had a really good show last night. I was on a storytelling event with uh, Dahlia Bell. It was wonderful. She was brilliant. Um, this tea tastes a little bit like uh, like coffee's uh, old sweat socks. Mm. Three cheers for green tea. And um, I think that's about all I got. I, 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 I don't, I, I don't, we live with president Biff. This is, um, we are in the back to the future dystopia. It is. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay. Well, face church, velvet daisy red, I suppose. Uh, Hey, you know what? This has been fun, hasn't it? This has been another another episode of uh, of Smoke and Mirrors, I guess. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, if you would like to support trans and uh, 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 queer artists uh, on the West Coast, you could do that by donating to the Marsha P. Johnson Foundation. Uh, oh my Lord. If you would, if this, do you believe in this thing? This thing, this thing right here, this show, this program, does it mean a thing to you? You know what? I, I'm, I'm going to say this again. I was told, I was told, don't call this stupid. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. And I'm going to not do that. Do you know why I'm going to not do that? Because it means something. This, this here, this here, this right here, this, what we're doing, this, this, this prophylactic socialization time that we do together where we try to help each other through being trapped in our homes because we're the people who are going to survive this goddamn thing and after thanos snap and he comes for his 27 bajillion dollars and and wipes out half the population we are going to be the half that are going to have to repopulate the whole planet so thank you so much for being here uh it means a lot to be here it means a lot to be here together uh ooh, ooh, that that sounds tasty. I will try some, some, some black tea with cardamom. Thank you. Um, because uh, this is really, it is delicious. I'm not going to lie. The green tea with the kombucha is delicious. I was being snarky and making a joke. Anyway, look, uh, if you, if you want to support this financially, that is possible. You could become a patron like all of these people. I'm talking about Kristen, Renice, Michael, Natalie, Juliet, Tarika, and Tracy, you see that person holding that card? Oh my God, that's my nephew Forrest, one of the very first or second guests in in the in the time that we spent some time under the philosopher's tree. Uh, I think that was the first time under the tree that I did not smoke under the tree. Uh, I know it's legal. I'm just not comfortable yet. Um, you can find me on IG. You can find me on Twitter. Those are places I be. Uh, on IG, it's El Caballo Negrito. On Twitter, it's just Caballo Negrito. Please shout something out. Let us know who we should have on. That is, in fact, 
how we ended up here with Cat Hollis yesterday. Uh, that was uh, something brought to us by Jenna, my friend Jenna, a suggestion that she brought to us to my attention. Uh, we reached out. We made it happen. We had a fantastic conversation, more fantastic conversations with more interesting people. If you introduce them to me and me to them, which you can do at Smoke and Mirrors CCB for comedy, culture, and bullshit at gmail.com. Uh, this has been a little bit of time produced and hosted by myself, and it's been produced by uh, Tracy Tatamy. Uh, and, uh, Jenna, we see you, we see you, we love you, we appreciate you, we thank you, uh, everybody do me a favor, would you take care of each other and take care of yourselves, please, and, and I'd like you to wash your hands, and I'd like you to stay home, and if you cannot stay home, wear a mask, and if it is too hard for you to wear a mask when you are out, then you are definitely immunosuppressed and should absolutely stay home uh thank you so much for spending a little bit of time uh this has been another episode of smoke and mirrors and uh i'm 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 i'm, I'm gonna go and uh have a weekend and i hope you're gonna do the same all right uh bye bye uh face church velvet daisy red 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 face church velvet daisy red